What's going on guys? Alex here with it 14 ADC and today I'm ready to do my full review on the LTK result. So this is a model designed by Lee over at Love Them Knives. Um, I will leave a link to his Instagram down below. I think he also has an Instagram. Uh, I just said that. He also has a YouTube. Um, but yeah, he designed this knife and he did this in collaboration with Wii. So this is made by Wii Knives. And I believe this is a White Mountain Knives exclusive. Um, and it is, of course, a button lock with a flipper tab and a fuller. Um, full titanium knife with burgundy G10 inlays. Uh, you can also get a version with uh, olive green G10 inlays. But nice milled loop over style pot clip. That I, I like the way he designed this. It goes up and over into the knife and it's lefty or righty carry. Um, looks really good from an aesthetic standpoint. Functions really well. And I just love when clips mount from the back. It just works a little bit better in my opinion. And it's just um, sort of a little added detail that I really appreciate when people do. Um, the titanium, if you guys can see, my camera will focus, has some really nice micro milling. I don't know if my camera's gonna focus or not. I'm trying to see. Yeah, it might be able to pick up a little bit there, but it has really nice micro milling. Um, and that extends across the, well, the G10 is not micro milled, um, but it has a sort of texture pattern to it. Um, it feels really good in hand. The blade shape is sort of a clip point style. Um, it has definitely some, you know, characteristics of a clip point. It has a little bit of a drop there or a bowie. Um, but of course you have a fuller. Um, it has a really nice sort of stone. Eh, it's like a stone wash with like a bead blast. It's like if they had a baby, it's kind of what this would be. Um, you have a choil down here. Obviously LTK is his logo right there. Internal milling, there is none. Um, and it definitely, you can, this has a little bit of weight to it. Um, but the blade is a 20 CV blade, three and a half inch. Um, yeah, I mean, it has good weight for the size of the knife. Again, it's a three and a half inch blade. So it's, it's a decent size knife. Um, and I think the weight is perfectly okay for what this knife is. Um, I don't think it's like a pocket brick or anything like that. Um, it's on bearings, of course. And I think I already said no internal milling. So that's really all for materials. So we're gonna jump into action next. So you have a flipper tab and a fuller with a button lock, and that's a pretty fun fidget combo. Um, we'll go with the uh, flipper tab, flies right out of there. You can do the push button, works really well, and you can also do the light switch. Um, I tend to do the push button just because I kind of, you know, find the top of the flipper tab and then boop, pops right out of there. There's a bee that's going to attack me here pretty soon, keeps flying into my windshield here. Um, but very fun, very, you know, detent is pretty snappy for, you know, button locks can be kind of hard to, um, if you guys saw my original XL button lock video, um, detents can be kind of hard to, to nail on a button lock. Um, but I think they did a pretty good job considering you have two different ways of deploying this knife, which some people, some companies tend to prefer having a stiffer detent for maybe a flipper tab or a middle finger flick, but then that leaves a weak detent and a weak opening way for the other opening method. Um, but here I think it works very well, nice and snappy. Um, it's not, you know, you really have to uh, yeah, try to fail it. See, I can't even, you really have to try to fail this knife and I am not able to do it right now. So the flipper tab works really well. And then sometimes I even overshoot, like it's just, it's a stiff detent. You guys can hear it. You, I cannot, well, you can thumb flick, but it's kind of hard uh, just because you have so much, you know, so much narrow space right there. It's hard to uh, sort of drive your thumb into it, but there, I just did it three times in a row. Um, middle finger flick also, it's a little bit, um, it's pretty stiff. You know, I'm really, really giving that a lot of gas. It's firing out of there. You guys can hear it, it has pretty good acoustics. But lefty, lefty thumb flick, and then lefty middle finger flick. Um, and of course, the button works pretty well. It is very recessed. It's right there. It sits very flush with the scales, so you have no risk at all of popping it out. Um, and it pops up a little bit there when it's when the knife is open. But I found where you kind of, I don't know, you really have to like press this in, and I wish it, when the blade was open, I wish it extended more up out so there was more um, button to grab onto. It took me a little bit to get used to it because you really kind of have to like shove your thumb 
in like you, you put it over and you really have to shove your thumb into um the button you know to get it to close the whole way it took me a little bit of a you know learning curve to do it but that's kind of how button locks are and it's you know i've had ones like this before that don't extend that much and they just are um a little bit to get used to and a little bit to uh operate but detent is very snappy i'm honestly really surprised um there's a little bit of blade play not you know it's it's not super super tight but you really have to be kind of torquing it down to uh get it to manipulate or move but it's just a very snappy detent and i definitely can applaud we um for putting a very nice snappy detent on a button lock because most oftentimes or not you don't see that so action is good uh next up we're going to talk about carry no not carry ergos um ergos on this knife are also very good so you have a three and a half inch blade so it's a big knife um you know not using the flipper choil it's pretty much a very you know utilitarian handle shape um, pretty straight back here you do have a little bit of swelling right here in the middle but then it tapers off and gets flat um, but it's pretty straight on both sides but i can get all four fingers in the knife very very comfortably um you know with a little bit sticking out of the back there the pot clip does stick out a little bit it sits a little proud of the knife so i can feel it but it's not causing much of a hot spot at all no really issues there um jimping up top works very well when you're in a saber grip and then when you choke up here um that gets you off that pot clip even more so it makes it even less of a hot spot and i can add probably another three fingers if i had it back there very very comfortable if you're going to be doing push cuts or anything specific like that um you know this clip point shape is not my cup of tea but i can definitely appreciate how it looks from an aesthetic standpoint um and it is nice and thin so this would be a pretty good slicer i think all things considered but um, very comfortable i love the way the micro milling feels you really it's hard to imagine unless you pick it up and it just adds enough texture to make it very comfortable and to make it very um you know ergo friendly it just adds that extra little sort of you know touch to the knife um, that i can definitely appreciate that combined with the uh the texturing on the inlays looks really good and feels really good as well but um you know saber grip hammer grip choked up um pinch grip works really well with this knife you just kind of have to be careful of that button lock you don't want to disengage it or anything like that but um yeah all things considered the ergos on this knife are very good it has a little bit of weight to it but again for being a bigger knife it, it feels substantial it doesn't you know it's not like it's an overweight knife and it's not like you're carrying around a pocket brick it just is sort of in that right sweet spot for a three and a half inch titanium knife with no internal milling so um no complaints really with the ergos uh, next up we're going to talk about carry no yes carry i cannot think today guys i apologize it's only monday it's gonna be a long week um but of course you have a loop over style deep carry i believe titanium pot clip which is really nice you can switch it over to lefty and it is used here towards the top which i love like i said earlier in the video when knives or knife companies use the top mount it just looks cool from an aesthetic standpoint and it functions really well and it's just different you don't see it that often um it's just different than you know sticking two clips or two screws into the side of the clip and just calling it a day um i would assume you'd have to take the knife out you know um because it kind of goes into that backspacer right there as well see but you can switch this over to lefty if you are a lefty so that's good for you guys but it sits down in you do have a flipper dab down here but the jimping is very very minimalistic on it you don't have very much you know sharp edges sharp edges or anything like that so drop it down in if you're going to be grabbing you know change chapstick medicine anything like that you got to pull it out you do have a little bit of risk of maybe catching it and pulling it up out of your hand or up out of your pocket with your hand but most often times you're just going to bounce right off of that jimping and you know not really worry about it but the rest of the knife is nicely you know you know rounded no sharp edges or anything like that but it sits in your pocket very well um, again has a little bit of weight but it's nothing out of the ordinary um, i've carried heavier knives so it really doesn't bother me too much but it sits deep in your pocket it goes pretty much deeper than the actual knife itself which is really nice so this thing is just shoved down in your pocket hidden in which i love when knives just completely disappear um it's definitely a uh, really a, a good thing and I, I tend to really gravitate towards knives that um you know do that but um carries very well you know it's it's not a huge knife but it's not a small knife it's you know kind of long but it's not very wide it's nice and thin um, but all things considered i think i've been saying that a lot in my different videos um it, it carries well no, i can't really complain too much about it so i have nothing uh nothing really negative to say so that leads me to my final ah, that leads me to my final category of price point and what i recommend this knife so the ltk result 
made by We Knives goes for $245 on White Mountain Knives in both the Burgundy G10 inlaid um, version and the green G10 inlaid version. Um, I think they're both in stock. I will leave a link to both down below if you guys are interested. Definitely go check them out. And if you use someone's code, like, you know, Lefty10, uh, you can use Kevin's code. You can get 10% off. So that would save you, like, what, $24 or something like that. So it would get you down to, like, $220. I think that's worth it. Um, I think that's kind of the going rate for Wii button locks nowadays in, this, you know, in, in different configurations. Um, and you're getting, you know, very premium materials. You're getting a nice stonewashed sort of clip point Bowie style 20 CV blade. So very nice blade steel. You're getting micro milled titanium with G10 inlays, which is really nice. Um, it's not, you know, you don't really see G10 inlaid in the titanium very often. It's always like carbon fiber or micarta or, um, you know, fat carbon, stuff like that. So it's cool to just see a nice, simple approach with G10. I can definitely appreciate that. Um, you're getting a fun, you know, fidget friendly button lock with a pretty stiff detent. You have a fuller, you can flick it, flick it. Flipper tab works really well. Um, so I think for $240, $245, excuse me, um, you know, I believe it's a White Mountain Knives exclusive, like I said, so um, I think that's the only place you can get it from. But using that code, you can knock another like 20 bucks off, so that takes you down into 220 225 I still, you know, I think that's a very good deal, but even at full price, I think that's very much worth it. Um, if you're a fan of this knife, if you are you know, you like the way the knife looks and you, you think you're going to, you know, get into it, then definitely go pick one of these up. I can recommend it. Uh, I'm not going to run and go pick one of these up just because, you know, it's not, not my favorite knife. Um, I enjoyed it, but I, you know, it's one of those, I really have no complaints about it, but there's just other stuff. And, um, you know, it's just, I don't know. I feel like I have to justify all the time why I don't buy knives. And that's, I know you guys don't really care and you know why, um, but you know, it is what it is. So, Definitely can appreciate it. I think it's a great model. Um, I can't wait to see if Lee comes out with some more stuff uh, under the LTK line. I think he has a really good design here, and I think he um, can have some good designs in the future. So I'll definitely be on the lookout for that. But, yeah, I'm going to wrap this up. So, as always, um, Lee will be linked in the description down below. Love them knives. I'll leave a link to his Instagram. Go check him out. And then the result will also be linked down below uh, to White Mountain Knives. Both are in stock. Go check them out as well. So, uh, leave a comment down below do you guys like the knife you know what are your thoughts on the design um and uh you know what are your thoughts on the price i would love to hear what you guys have to say but uh, i'm gonna wrap this up now so thank you guys again as always for you know watching supporting commenting subscribing liking anything you do to help the channel um i greatly appreciate from the bottom of my heart um, we're slowly getting towards a thousand subs hopefully we'll get there sooner than later so i can get my thousand k giveaway going um and speaking of that i need to finalize some things with that so i'm gonna add that to my mental to-do list um with my other thousand items i need to do before me and my fiance move but that's nonetheless you guys will you know get an update on that later so i'm gonna quit rambling now thank you guys again for watching uh hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your morning evening night whenever you're watching this and i'll talk to you guys in the next one peace